All right, so we're going to be starting off today with EDP and past paper question and answers, 2007. So we're going way back to 2005. So maybe by Thursday we can, mm, Tuesday, today's Thursday. So maybe by Tuesday we can complete 2005 and six. Right, because today we're going to be looking at 2007, 2008, and 2009. And next week as well, or maybe the following, maybe the following week, I'll look at 2005 and 2006 because I really want to go through some multiple choice questions that I got recently. All right, so number one says, figure one below shows four input devices, A, to D. A. Identify the four input devices labeled A to D in figure one. Take a close look at it and tell me what input devices device is at A. Keyboard. Yes, keyboard. B. Joystick. Joystick. Very good. C. Scanner. Scanner. Very good. And D, yeah. digital yeah. camera. Or is it a web camera? The image is not too clear. It could be a digital camera. It could be a web camera. Look at question B, 1B. In terms of evolving technology, which of the four devices is the most recent? The camera, yes. Right? Keyboard is one of the first input devices. So you know that is very old, long time ago. So the most recent would be the, the camera. Name two input devices other than those shown in figure one. So you're going to list two that is not already listed. Mouse, very good. Microphone, yes. Barcode reader, yes, Crystal. Very good, and we could go on and on, right? Number two, state two ways of caring for computer peripherals and the computer working environment. Cover the equipment when not in use because you don't want dust to get into it. You know, once dust gets into it, it can get clogged up, the fans stop working, and then it gets overheated. Am I correct? So we have to make sure it is covered when, when it is not in use. Use soft, damp cloth to clean them. So when dust, not only when dust alone is on it, but it, on a general, in general, you, you should keep it clean. And in order to keep it clean and not damage it in any form or shape, you can use a soft damp cloth to clean them. Others is to screen, screen on a regular basis, update your files as well, keep food and drink away from the computer. And you have many other ones that you could have mentioned. 3B, 3A, name two ways of protecting the, in, the integrity of files. If you notice, we have looked at this question maybe three or four times already. Remember? 3A, name two ways of protecting the integrity of files. Yes, prepare backup, yes. Use password, firewall, make the files read only, and the list goes on and on. Good. So you know this is a must. You have to make sure, you know, you have to ensure that you know all of these. 3B, name three of the special keys used to move around within a document. How do you move around a document? You can use the arrow key. You can use the tab key, the page up and page down keys. My, yes. 
We can use the enter key as well. All right. Number four. As the editor of a local magazine, you are required to typeset and lay out the next publication, which is in color and includes many photographs. A, name three pieces of electronic equipment that may be used for the task outlined above. What is your answer? What would you say? Yes, you can use your computer. You can use a digital camera. And that is to take the pictures and you can also, well, after you take the picture, you can attach it to your computer and upload pictures to the document that you want to use. What else? A scanner, so if you, already have hard copy pictures or magazine whatever photograph you have you can scan it into the computer am i correct all right b says identify two pieces of application software that are necessary for the collection and compilation of the magazine microsoft word is one you know that you can use Microsoft Word and create it from scratch. You can use Microsoft Publisher, which have templates that are already designed for magazine purpose. So using Microsoft Word, of course, it will take you a longer time. But Microsoft Publisher, it will take you a short amount of time because you're working from a template. You understand? C, give one reason for your choice of each application software in A above. And I just explained it. So in Microsoft Word, you can set, up to, set it up to create a magazine with photographs using column setting, right? You can divide your page into two and three columns, just like how a magazine would be set out. And why, why use Publisher? The same reason, it actually have a template for magazine. Are you with me? Yes. All right. Five. Five says, five A says, copy table one into your answer booklet. Complete the table stating the correct paper size and appropriate paper orientation that should be used for each of the three documents. For a three-fold newsletter, A4. A4, and you will turn it in landscape. Remember, it's a three-fold newsletter now, so it will look pretty much like a brochure. You remember what a brochure looked like? When you open out a three-fold brochure, you realize the paper is turned into landscape? Yes. So it's A4, and the orientation is landscape. Short notice is, uh, the paper size for short notice is A5. So like invitations and so on, those you have to use an A5 paper to create them. And it looks normal, so you know the orientation is portrait. All right? Invoice. Invoice looks normal as well. It, it is done on a regular letter size paper or an A4 size paper. Right? And it is in portrait orientation. B. Write the meaning of the following manuscript signs. One, when you see the dashed line or the dotted line, usually under a word, what does it mean? To leave it unchanged. It also means stet. Am I correct? Yes, and sometimes you will see a tick in a circle. Very good. This is it, it is a tilde sign, but I think it means something else. What the tilde sign represents in manuscript? Starts with T. 
transpose. I am not sure if it is a case where they couldn't find a transpose image or whatever to put in it, but this is what they used. And I don't know of the tilde meaning anything in in manuscript. So I'm well I associated it with the transpose sign. Three New paragraph, very good. So once you see the slant, double slash, or NP, you know it means new paragraph. Number six, many of the new computers are being manufactured without a floppy disk drive. Name two other storage devices that may be used instead of a floppy thumb drive hard drive you know and you have external hard drives that you can work with it's portable cd yes dvd too and the list goes on and on number seven joan was asked to use a computer to prepare the following document she was instructed to use oblique headings and to center the documents between the vertical and horizontal margins. I hope you remember what to do to get your headings in oblique and to center your page in vertical and horizontal margin. Hmm. How do you turn your text into oblique or your heading into oblique? Yes, yeah, so you click in the cell or highlight the cell if you want to put it that way. And then click on format. Then alignment. You change the degrees to what? To 45. And how do we center our page to have vertical and horizontal heading now? What procedure do you go through for that? Click on file. Yes, you click on file, then print, then, print. then, page, setup. then page setup, then select margins, yes, select margins. Then vertical and then you tick, right, vertical and horizontal, and then OK, right? Very good. When you have done that and type your information, this is what it should look like. So you notice the headings are in oblique? Yes. All right. So let us move to the next question. Which application software can be used to format oblique? Headings. Excel, Microsoft Excel, right? Spreadsheet. <clears throat> On a clean page, copy the above document to show what Jones document should look like. And I just showed you. Alrighty. Next question. Edit and rewrite the following extract, con correcting all errors. Circle all corrections made. But in this case, we're going to go through and just highlight or talk about the errors that were made. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you notice, it has 10 marks beside it. So it means there are 10 of them that you need to find. One mark each. Expressive arts. Visual arts. Syllabus A and B. Any error there? Capital A. So that's one. Capital B, so that's two. General only, is there any error there? No. A, drawing, is there any error there? Yes, it should be a capital D. Yes. B, imaginative, any error? Yes, it should be imaginative. Yes, imaginative, not imaginative. 
Composition. Any error there? What? It is spelled incorrectly. It should be a T, not a S. At, it should be T-I-O-N, not S-I-O-N. Very good. C, graphic design. Any error there? Maybe you can't hold what is down there. So I wouldn't say there's an error there. What about D, printmaking? That is fine. E, three-dimensional design surface. Uh, design. Any error there? No. F, surface decoration. And in bracket, it has textiles. Any error there? Yes. Look closely. Let me zoom it up a bit more for you so you can see it a bit clearer. Textile, it has a capital X. It should be a common X there. Yes, any more? Look at G, ceramics. That's fine. H, fiber arts. Capital G, very good. So you picked up that one. What about I? Leather craft. Yes, there's an error there. A K is there for craft, which should be a C. Decorative craft, J. That's fine. K, theory. The I should be a Y. All right, let us look at the next section. May slash June only. June should be a capital letter. It is a proper noun. All right. And that would have given you your 10 marks. Number nine. Carefully read the following statement. Insert the punctuation marks which have been omitted. Then copy the corrected statement to your answer booklet. Hi, how are you today? Just dry some. All right, let us correct it. What should you have put in terms of punctuation? High after exclamation, very good. Question mark after today. Question mark after today, you're missing one. Capital A. So after you have high exclamation sign, you should start the sentence, a new sentence to say, how are you? So a capital H would be there, yes. And that would have given you your three marks. Usually the marks allocated tells you how many things you need to find. Define the following terms. We are at number 10. Format and edit. What does it mean? Format and edit means that um, it's the way in which you set out something and present it in terms of how it looks. Right? So it's, it, it, it means a way in which something is arranged or set out for publication or present or presentation, right? Let us look at B, proofread. What does proofread mean? Read to read through something and mark the errors and of course correct them as well. If it's to proofread, you might just highlight it to show the person that you have errors here, there and everywhere. But some people, when they proofread, they also give you the corrections. Okay? So if you want to add that, you could add that. C, insert. Insert means placing an object within another object, or it could be a text. Maybe a letter is missing from a word, you could use it to insert the letter, right? So it also means moving your text cursor, using your arrow keys between the letters and typing one or more letters in between. And that's a, in a case where maybe something is missing. All right? All right, so that's 